Hey guys, this is Audrey Lolita Terry coming up in out of Austin, Texas with a prophetic dream that I had. Mm, the Holy Spirit was speaking to me early this morning. Okay, this word is going to be God has interrupted the enemy plans for your life. Mm, the Bible say many of the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord plans will stand over us. Thank you, Jesus, for standing over the enemy plans. Thank you, Father. See, the enemy had a whole nother direction for you, but God interrupted that. Mm. But before we get started, guys, we're going to have a word of prayer and invite the Holy Spirit to just take full-fledged control to have his way and speak in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, right now, I just want to say thank you, God. Oh, Heavenly Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you would just have your way. I command this old flesh to stand down and I ask the Holy Spirit to just have his way. Mm, have your way, Father. Lord, let your let your word reach who, who it needs to reach, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, if there's any covenant, Father, that I have made with the enemy, normally or unknowingly, I break that covenant, Father, because my covenant is with you, Lord God. Oh God, I just pray, God, that nothing get in the way of this word going forth. Flow, Holy Spirit, have your way. Back me up in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, amen, amen, amen. To God be the glory. Mm, the Lord woke me up mm, by 3 a.m. this morning. And I could not get back to sleep. And I just went to talking to God. Well, I just went to talking and praying. And, and, and I tried to turn over and go to sleep. And I couldn't get to sleep. But I say, Lord, what is it? What is it you want me to know, Father? What are you trying to, to show me? Mm, and when I said that, he let me go to sleep. Mm, and let me tell you what I saw. Ooh, Jesus. Mm. I want to share this scripture first before I tell you. It's, it's going to be coming from out of Psalms 37, verses 23 and 24. It says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights delighted in his way. Though he fall, he should not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholded him with his hand. Mm, the Lord is getting ready to speak to somebody. Like I say, he interrupted my sleep with this. <clears throat> it was not my plans to be on here, especially after um, him having me up. Okay, all morning like that, I was just tired and still a little tired. But uh, Holy Spirit, I'm trusting that you're going to back me up with this word in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, Father, and let this word reach whom it need to reach in the mighty name of Jesus. I saw myself. It, it was a lot of parts of the dreams, but I'm going to tell you all the part that stuck with me and that the Holy Spirit spoke to me about. OK, in this dream. OK, I was like getting ready to, to get in the car with these people like they couldn't even see me. These unfamiliar people, people I don't even know. I never seen these people like it was two ladies that was in a front seat. Drive, drive. It was one that was driving, another one sitting on the passenger side, and it was somebody else sitting in the back seat with me. Okay, but it's like they couldn't even see me. But while they was they they was drive while she was driving, she was just talking and she, all off detour, wasn't even paying attention, no focus, nothing. And I mean, she was driving at full speed. Mm, the Lord getting ready to speak to somebody. She was out of control, no control. And as we got ready to go around this sharp curve, we flew off like a bridge. And I remember, like, I just went to panic and, oh, Lord, oh, Jesus, we finna die, Lord. We, and like, I just went to panic. Like, they couldn't even see me back there. Okay, and I'm panicking. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, pray. I need you to pray. And I began to pray. And as as I began to pray, it's like the, the, the car just, the direction, just like it got redirected or something. Okay? Like, the fall was different. Mm, and the way we landed, we weren't supposed to land like that. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord getting ready to speak to somebody. Mm, your life. Mm, this is what the Holy Spirit was speaking to me. Your life, you was all out of control. Mm, you was headed for self-destruction. Mm, the Lord was getting, the, the, the enemy was getting ready to take you out. He had other plans for you. But the Lord, the Holy Spirit told me, he said, I interrupted the enemy plan. Mm. He said, go tell him I interrupted the enemy plan. He said, why they complaining? It's supposed to have been worse than what it was. Mm. I, I heard, once heard Latoya Oak Hill say, 
the God broke broke your fall. Mm. The, the God broke your fall. Mm. See that it, what, the way you the impact of that fall is supposed to have been far more greater than what it is, but you can't see it because God blocked it. He had His hand on you. You was protected. Mm. You were supposed to be destroyed, wiped out. Mm. The direction you was going. Mm. And then, then after a while in this dream, I want you to hear me. Mm. And that's why I was in my spirit so strong yesterday. God is giving somebody another chance. In this dream, the same people, like we wind up back in the car again, in this same car, and, and, and we was riding. But this time, it was different. Mm. I saw their focus, like they was focused. And as they got ready to hit that curve, they was leaning with their curve. Okay, they weren't speeding like they had control. God is giving somebody another chance. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. The Lord say he giving you another chance in the mighty name of Jesus. He say some things you didn't even see that was meant to take you out, but he blocked it because his hand was on your life. Mm. Because if the enemy had had his way, he would have wiped and took you up out of here. Mm. Stick with me with this, okay? I got another scripture that I want to share with you, okay? The Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. The Lord got great things in store for somebody, but you just been all off track, okay? Not even focused, just all over the place. Mm. But the Lord is calling you to get back on track. You getting another chance. You is getting another chance. I mean, God showed me this. The way that car landed, it wasn't supposed to land like that. We were supposed to, I mean, you were supposed to be wiped out, gone, okay? But it wasn't an accident he was talking about. He was talking about your life, okay? That's what the Holy Spirit put in my spirit. Your, it was your life that was out of control. And the Lord it just is calling you to, to get back on track, to get back focused, to pay attention. Mm, because the Holy Spirit is speaking to you and you saying you don't, Hear nothing. But the Lord said, I'm speaking. You can't hear because you got too many people talking in your ear. Mm. Come on, Holy Spirit. Back me up with this. In the mighty name of Jesus, back me up. See, the, the, the Bible says in John 10, 10, the thief come not, but for to steal and kill to and to destroy. I come that they may have life and that they might have it more abundantly. The Lord is speaking. It is not the will of God that any man should, should perish, but all should come into the repentance of God, of God, excuse me. Okay. The Lord is speaking to somebody. Yield to the voice of the Holy Spirit and begin to give God things right there. Give him glory right there in that place where you are. Begin to magnify him and exalt him and bless his holy name because God don't owe us nothing. Mm, and I bind and rebuke the spirit of entitlement because if the truth be told, none of us deserve nothing. But because of his mercy and his grace, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He give it to us anyway. It's not because we so deserving and we so righteous. Mm, the Bible says a righteous man fall down seven times and get back up. Come on now. Help me, Holy Spirit. Back me up. You kept me up all night for this. I need you to back me up in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way and speak, Father, and let this word reach whomever it's supposed to reach. The Lord is speaking to somebody. I don't know who you are. And where you are. But I want you to take this word to God in prayer. And I got faith and I believe. I know deep down in my spirit. That this word is going to reach. Whom it need to reach. Because the Lord was speaking strongly in my spirit this morning. He was speaking. When I tell you he was speaking strong. He was speaking strong. I mean you were just out of control. No direction. Just all over the place. You just everywhere. Double minded. Unstable. Okay. The Bible says a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Mm, but I'm asking right now in the mighty name of Jesus that God would just stabilize your mind. Lord, let that mind, Father, that is in you being us also. Lord, God, stabilize our mind in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, speak, Holy Spirit. Have your way. Have your way. Whoever you are, you get another chance. And that was in my spirit yesterday. Before I got off that last video, it was in my spirit when he was saying somebody was getting another chance. And now I see, okay, you get another chance. Because it was, I found myself back in that same car in the back seat, but the next time it was different. It's going to be different for you. Mm. The Lord's speaking to you. And I believe in, in, in my spirit that you're going to receive this word. As always, guys, we want to take this word to God in prayer. This word is not for everybody. 
Okay. Always seek the Lord with every word that you get in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray guys that this word bless whomever is supposed to bless. Cause like I say, he woke me up out of my sleep, interrupted my day. Okay. Cause this was not my plans to be on here today. Okay. My plans was just to cook my dinner and relax. Okay, but the Lord said, I got, that's your plans. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't God's plan. It, them, them was my plans, but God had, has other plans. And that's another thing that I'm going to do a video. I got to share with you guys. It was so much that went on on my vacation. When I thought I was on vacation, the, the Holy Spirit showed me different. But anyway, this word is going to reach whomever it's supposed to reach. I believe that in my spirit. And I just want to say, guys, you know, I pay attention to the comments. I pray over all the comments. But I want I want to say this. I, I see so most subscribers came in more than join. Praise God to God be the glory. The Lord is moving rapidly. Mm, he moving swiftly. Have your way. Holy Spirit. And I just want to say welcome. If you not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscription button. Go ahead and, and get on board the winning team. Team Jesus over here. Praise God. Praise God. Go ahead and subscribe and, and comment like. Share the video if the Holy Spirit leads you to do that. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Those of you that are blessing this ministry and you are blessing in so many ways when you comment, when you like, when you share the video. And some of you are making donations. I pray that God will multiply and bless every penny, especially nowadays. It's hard for a lot of people. Okay. And I understand and I know that you don't have to be obedient to the voice of God. But thank you, Jesus, that you are. And I know that's what it is. And I pray that the favor of God would be upon your life like no other. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, God, I pray that God will open up the windows of heaven and bless you where, it don't have, where you don't have room enough to receive, where to boggle your mind. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, let your blessings overtake them, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, let their cup overflow right before their enemies, in the midst of their enemies. Lord, let their enemies have front row seat and see the blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not lack. You will not go without. You will have more than enough. And your cup will overflow in Jesus' mighty name. And I just want to say for those of you that don't know Christ, okay? I'm giving an invitation today. Okay, to this God that I love so much and I speak so highly of and that love you so much. He don't care about your flaws, your imperfection. The Lord is calling you just the way that you are. You don't have to fix nothing. You don't have to stop nothing. The Lord going to take care of all that. Mm, he just calling you just like you are. Come on. Come on. You can't clean up the filth. It's, it's, it's God that do the cleaning. Come on and just trust God. Take that first step and let him do the rest. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Repeat after me. And if you're not ready now, I'm going to put this in the description box where you can always go back. Okay. And you can say it. You don't need to say it with me if you don't want to. Okay. But if you're ready, let's do this. Come on. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died on the cross for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my life as my Lord and Savior. If you said the sinner's prayer with me, you believe that Christ died on the cross for your sins. You are saved. The next step will be baptism. Not saying that everything going to be perfect. Okay. But that you is perfect with God mm, because you covered and saturated in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. And I just want you guys to, to know that I love you so much. And I just, I'm praying and I'm interceding and and I just want to thank you guys for all the prayers that you sent it up for me, you know, because I need the prayers. And it's just so much God put in my spirit to talk to you guys about. I can't do it in one video, so I got to break it up. But I just want you all to know that I love you and may the blessings of God just rain upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. And bye until next time, guys.